Hello everyone, I'm back here today for testing three of the upcoming first star legendary mods. But I mainly want to talk about one of them, which is the conductor effect, because it got nerfed a few days ago. So that's how the effect was before the nerf. As you can expect, everyone was shocked by this. This is a four star fixer. Quad, weapon speed, less AP. Critical is fully restore AP and health. That's what I'm talking about. However, now the effect is only restoring 5% of your AP and HP for each critical hit within a radius of 50 meters. But this works with your teammate now. But okay, how good the effect is right now, or it is still good. Well, spoiler alert, it might be broken and not in a good way. Anyways, I'm also going to cover two other legendary mods, which is limit breaking and lastly, rapture. But for, I'm not sure if you pronounce that, but whatever. Now that I'm done speaking, let's start with testing conductor so i was able to test myself the conductor effect before the nerf and this happened during a live stream if you want to join us during live stream it's happening on this youtube channel anyways let's show the clip let's play with that <laughs> my ep is just barely moving like what is that dude this is so powerful Never seen, never seen this before. Um, how rifle? No problem. What is that mod? What is that mod? All right, so now I'm ready to test, and as you can see, I don't have any buff right now. I don't want to have anything that regen my AP. I don't have anything that uh, regenerate my AP whatsoever. So make sure to check at my AP bar. Keep your eyes locked on it. You'll see. So it's very hard to tell if it's actually working so let's just keep shooting on the mutants so I can lower my bar even more. So as you can see it's working kind of but it's, it's not as good as it was but the question is can I run out of AP and I think the answer is yes. In order to test that I'm going to kill a mirror queen. I need to reduce my AP a little bit so I'm going to remove um, this card here and this should help yeah 437 it's a bit better so let's see. Yeah I'm not sure so let's see. That is my normal AP regen. That is not the legendary effect that, um, that did regen my AP. Now I have to spawn the Murdoch Queen. Let's like that. Let's see. So my AP is going fast, fast, fast down. So it seems like you can run out of AP with the fixer, which have an AP cost of 5. That's low, right? Lastly, for testing conductor, I'm going to test on this uh, glowing behemoth. With this time, a vampire uh, plasma rifle. Not enclave, but a regular plasma rifle. Uh, and yes, it does have um, a conductor apply. Alright, let's go. That's... So I already run out of AP, as you can see. So yeah, with AP cost of 23, it's much faster than the fixer. And here, conductor didn't really help me. So as you can see, conductor is nowhere near good as it was. But I also understand that Bethesda did nerf this mod. Though there is something weird. Does it restore 5% of AP according to the total amount of AP you have, which is for me 531? I don't know. If it's the case, then I think it's not working correctly. Because how much is 5% of 531? Let's see. 531. 26.55. So if this effect is actually working that way, that means I should get 26 AP each critical hit. Which in that case would be good. But I don't think I'm getting that. So if you know how this effect exactly work, tell me in the comment. Now I'm going to test the other effect, Limit Breaking, and this effect is, let me tell you, fantastic. So the description is, each worn armor piece reduces the cost of critical hits by 10%. So I have the effect on each of my piece of armor, so 5. What this effect does is fantastic. It allows you to get critical hits every 2 shots, even if you don't have 33 points of life. Let's see if right now I have my critical hits every other shot. So before testing, i just going to explain so before testing, I'm just going to uh, show you uh, my card in Lodge. Uh, so I do have better criticals, but the most important is critical savvy. And I have this that should also boost my critical hits a little bit. For testing, I'm going to remove it because I don't want this to affect my test. Like to give me uh, some random critical hits like, so will I get my critical hits every two shots? Let's take a look at my critical bar. Okay. 
Now it's back. Cool. Oh, interesting. So okay. I guess if I remove so if I remove um, a piece, will the bar be somewhere else? Uh no, but it seems like I still get my critical hits. So it does work, which is fantastic. So alright, let's say you are a full health build and you want to have your critical hits every other shot. I have the same exact build, okay? So I am totally not a full health build. But let's see if I still can achieve my critical hits every other shot. Right, so my critical bar is full now, so the next shot is it will be critical. It's working like, like a charm. What is, what the, oh. Okay, so yeah, now if you want critical hits every other shot still being full health build, it's possible. Actually, this effect makes it easy. You won't need any buff that increase your uh, your luck, anything. Just this legendary effect out on your armor and you're good. Now the very last effect I want to cover today in this video is um, pretty interesting. So let's take a look at it. It's this one, Raptor. I'm still not sure if you pronounce that, but okay. So what it does, when you cripple limbs, they explode and deal up to 150 explosion damage to nearby targets. And I picked this weapon for a specific reason. So if you don't know, this weapon is actually not even supposed to do that. The trick is you need to apply a flammer barrel first and then a pulse capacitor. And this actually just do that. If you combine this with explosion, this weapon is just a piece of art. Alright, alright, I'm back here at West Tech. I also regain my rad. So, alright, the other stars here are bloody uh, explode bullets uh, and less AP cost. The only thing that bothers me is that I don't have this one maxed out. I have this maxed out in the normal Fallout 76, which sucks. Okay, let's see now um, just by shooting. It's the same, but let's test on enemies. Holy cow, wow. That's, that's crazy. I think it's doing way more damage because I have the, ex the same exact weapon in the regular uh, game. So of course, with it's only a three star, huh? Yeah, I, I, I have to, I was saying I have to be careful. Yeah, uh, I don't have uh, the dense torso mod, which doesn't help. That's, <laughs> that's insane. This is overpowered. Now, okay, let me test something. I'm gonna um, downgrade con concentrated fire to one and put, because I want to put this, uh, where it is? Green and because I want to put this card. Okay, mutant. <laughs> that's, that's so fun. Damn it, it's actually hitting uh, mutants that are far away. Wow. Oh my God, you scared me, bro. Wait, wait, my AP is, um, wait, wait a minute. Uh, Alright, my last testing is at drop V9, which have uh, some um, Scourge Beast and a lot of Scourge. Let's have fun now. Also, I'm going to retake some company T. Yeah, you also you also can use this outside of bats if you want, and it's still doing the, the a great job. I'm gonna target that with the fixer. All right, so let's see if I can kill her in bats. But look at this, it's kind of good. Yeah, I do, uh, yeah I have to be careful because I, I I can blow myself. Ouch! Oh no, I'm good. It does. A lot of damage everywhere that's crazy this is insane i'm not taking damage look at this i'm not taking damage um yeah what the freak is going on with my ap and elf it seems like i have a conductor effect going on but it should not 